Hey everybody, I'm Nicholas Skinner with Skinner Games, and we're here for another episode of Game Reviews in 5 Minutes or Less. This time we're not addressing a game as such, so much as a game supplement. In the vein of the massive amount of Kickstarters that we've been backing recently because I've had a massive addiction I've not been able to control, when Goodman Games announced that they were creating a book that would help people write adventures, I couldn't resist. As long as I've been game mastering, it's always good to have more advice from published authors and from those who have been in the industry for a very long time. So when this came up, how to write adventures that don't suck, I had to get it. This book is really fun to look at. It's got these nice illustrations and it's written like an old computation book. That's just the dust cover though. The book is hardback and is illustrated. The inside cover has some nice art in it. And this book comes with a handy ribbon so that you can mark your place in the book, which I'm currently doing, so I'm not gonna pull that out. It even has a fun autograph page so that if you go to any cons, you can get the, the authors of these articles to sign your book. The book has a lot of really, really interesting articles in it. Some of my favorites are, listen, do you smell something? Which is one of my favorite lines from Ghostbusters. Always makes me laugh every single time because it's the most ridiculous thing ever. But that one is amazing at talking about visceral experiences for your players at the table. How to describe things, an undulating tentacle, for example, or the smoky draft of a burnt village. Also, at the end of most of these articles, they give you good advice on how to create an encounter using the principles that they just taught you in the articles preceding them. This book is chock full of amazing, superb advice from published authors, and if you see it kicking around in a store, or on Amazon, or that your buddy has it, grab it, don't steal it, grab it, ask permission, bring it home, and study the crap out of it. It's got great advice and has a lot of fun things in it. The Kickstarter also came with a secondary book, well, a couple of things, actually, quite a few things, but a secondary book that I wanted to address that's also really great if you can manage to find it. This is The Adventurer's Almanac. It is another hardcover book with a nice little ribbon in it to keep your place, but it gives you literally a month-by-month, day-by-day calendar in which to adventure. It gives great advice for holidays that may come up in your campaign, how to create months and days, and how to apply pantheons and things to what your game world consists of. It also gives some really interesting tables, like this one, which I don't know if you can read the title of, but it says, The Enigmatic Effects of Wizardly Death. So when a wizard dies, something might happen. For instance, here's a few examples. Mage's body turns to ash. A ghostly wind appears from nowhere and scatters the mage's body to the winds. No resurrection is possible. Bummer. Another one, the mage's body is accompanied by a foreboding omen. The moon turns to blood, an unforeseen solar eclipse occurs, cows give sour milk, chickens lay red eggs, a baby is born with two heads, a comet appears in the sky, etc. Whether these omens herald some misfortune to come is left to the game master. Bum, bum, bum. There's also another one, I th think it's either earlier or later in this book, I'm trying to find it, but it gives uh, random potion side effects if you screw it up. Ah, Gobber's Flame Effects is what it's called. So, with the types of substances that magic users, alchemists, transmutators, and chemists employ in the course of their equipments, it is no surprise the occasional laboratory mishap results in widespread destruction. One of these examples, victims become immune to normal fire and only take half damage from magical flame in the future. Gobber Flame is unaffected by this protection. That's not quite so destructive. However, there's another one. Victims turn gaseous. Permanently. That's a bummer. So there's a whole load of side effects that they give in this table, and there's lots of other just really fun things that people have come up with to make this an interesting book to own. There's a blank page in the back of the book for you to photocopy so that you can create your own monthly encounters and your own calendar for your campaign. It's a really fun book, and it's a really great addition to any role-playing library. I'll try to find some links to these products in the Goodman Games website and post them in the description below. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. These videos are a lot of fun to produce, and I'm glad that we're getting such positive feedback from the community. Please check out our website, which we'll also post in the description below, for some free stuff and some great articles. We'll see you next time. Happy gaming!